surrounded by cats right now but the first thing you need is itunes and 3u tools which is a windows only tool i'll have a link to download 3u tools in the description below everybody knows how to get itunes and after the and you also need the ios 4.1 ip download ipsw to downgrade your iphone 3gs to it and before I comment down below saying that's nothing that isn't working properly, please make sure to watch the entire video. Okay, and I guess that's all for now. Let's get dig into the process. So, if you're on Mac OS Catalina or Hi, now I'm doing this process, this part of the process on my Mac because my Windows computer currently doesn't have a working version of iTunes. But if you're on Mac OS Catalina and higher and you're doing this first part, You'll need Windows later regardless. You'll have to go into Finder and go, go into your iPhone. For otherwise, you can go into iTunes. Right here, I'm on my iPhone page. And you'll need a SIM card too, which you'll have to go get. Yes, I know my cat is meowing. So now, on Windows, you'll need to click Shift and Restore. However, on Mac, I'm going to need, you're going to need to click Command and Restore. <coughs> Nope, well, you want to press Option Restore, excuse me, if you're on Mac. And then you can go ahead and go to wherever you stored your IPSW file. It's best to store it on desktop. Oh, <laughs> never mind, I forgot to step. So what you need to do is first turn off your iPhone completely. In case you hear noise in the background, it's just my dog and my Windows PC, which makes lots of noise. But items make lots of noise. Okay, now it's completely turned off. You want to hold the power, just the power button for three seconds, then hold both the power and home button without letting go of the power button. Home the home button two for ten seconds, then let go of the power button but still keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds so let's start one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we're just hold it until itunes detects it Which hopefully shouldn't be long. Come on, I'm trying to enter. This is entering DFU mode, by the way. Come on. Well, I'm. It's doing something. Okay, I'll just get back to you once I've entered DFU mode. Into DFU mode. So what you need to do is while the phone's still on, actually just hold the power and home button for 10 seconds and then hold the home button for 15 seconds. That's how it worked for me. So now, if you're on Windows, click Shift and Restore. And if you're on Mac OS, click Option and Restore. Then you want 4.1. Then you just want to go ahead and restore to it in iTunes. This will erase all your data, by, by the way, so please make sure to back anything essential up. And I'll see you once I'm successfully done. Or not. Or I'll see you once this is done. That is in the way, but. So if I zoom in on this error message I got in iTunes, don't worry, it's completely normal. It says that I could not restore due to error 1015. However, that is completely normal. And if you get this recovery mode logo, which is for iOS 4.1, and below instead of the one for iOS 6. If you get this one, then you're probably, and you weren't previously, and if you were previously running iOS 5, 4.2.1 or higher, even though I'd only recommend doing this from iOS 6. If you're doing, then if it displays this logo, then you know it is working. Otherwise, I'm not, you're gonna have to boot out by holding the power and home button. So now I'll show you what to do next. 
your Windows computer is successfully installed your device driver software, you'll need to go ahead and once you open 3D Tools, it should come up with this. And then what you need to do after that is hit Exit Recovery Mode, and then it will just go ahead and boot out. And wait a minute, wait, wait, wait for it to boot. I'll just get back to you once it is booted. I should get this screen, so now I'm going to have to go connect to this phone to my Mac. But as I can tell, you will need a SIM card. So I'll go get a SIM card and go back to my Is Mac. That? Once your phone is on the screen, you need to go back to your back to iTunes and connect it to your phone. Make sure you connect your phone to your computer. And yes, these are just the voicemails that previously came with my phone. But as you can tell, now we are running iOS 4.1. So if I just go to general and about, as you can tell, it's running iOS 4.1. So thank you all for watching, and as always, peace out.